You did well by rushing him to the hospital. Daddy. Daddy. Do you think he will survive? Yes. I'll feel You're guilty right. for the rest of my life if he dies. He'll be fine. Just fine. I want him to survive. Daddy, you need to see the way he took those bullets for me. He did his job. Was he paid to die for me? He was paid to protect you. Even with his life? I'll go upstairs and clean up. Sweat. Keep an eye on her. Don't let her help you with us. Did my father pay you to die for me too? I'm just doing my job. you send this message to me? Hello, young lady. You're not supposed to be here. But, Doctor, I'm already here. Are you going to watch him take injections?
Savior. I spoke with the doctor and he says he will be fine. I know. My spirit tells me he will be fine. It's only a matter of time. The food is getting cold. Daddy, I don't have appetite for food. Come on, Bianca. You can't go on like this. For four days now, you will go without food. But, Daddy, I am not hungry. What if by the time he gets up, you are dead with hunger? Does hunger kill? The body needs food. Okay, but I can only eat when I'm hungry. Anyhow you like it, you must eat. The land and they said I couldn't talk to you. What happened? Why is your bodyguard? Tony was short. How? Was that why your line was switched off? I switched it off. Gigi, you should have been there to witness what happened. We were attacked on our way out of a boutique. Prefer to die instead of me dying. <laughs> That's his job. Is there life? Well, the doctor said he'll survive, but he hasn't opened his eyes. Poor thing. Did you, do you know Tony loves me? But he couldn't open up. How do you know? <laughs> I feel so guilty being born in this condition. People are scared of expressing their innermost feelings towards me. He did it not because of his job, but because of the love he has for me. Are you saying that he chose to die for you, or because of love, or he was doing his job? Don't start. Well, let's just pray he survives it, okay? I pray so. Uh, you have to pray. Meanwhile, tomorrow is my mom's birthday. You have to... Am I saying you have to come? You have to be to my house today. You'll come, right? Don't worry. He'll be fine. Okay? Girlfriend. Bianca, what are you doing outside by this time of the night? Don't you know an enemy may be snooping around? Don't worry. My dad is asleep. I want to talk with you. You want to talk with me? Yeah. Here? See? I know you're close to Tony. I miss him so much that I want to talk with anybody close to him. Yeah, Tony's a nice guy. 
Were you at the hospital today? Yes. He's still on life support. The doctor says he's improving, but he hasn't opened his eyes yet. Really? I know Mr. T will like you to be the first person he will see when he opens his eyes. How do you know? Oh, yeah. It's written all over him. Even the boys here know, too. He guides you with a personal and emotional spirit. I've gotten used to him. You know, like, like he's a part of me. He's always around me. I've not been able to sleep since he was shot. I'd like to know that you, you're not hot. You know? Tell me. Can you die for someone you're guiding? I must tell you that's a personal question. You know why? It depends on the individual. Mm. But all the same, Sha, I know Mr. T cares for you. Mm. Thank you, Sweat. Thank you. I need to catch some sleep now. Okay. Good night. Good night. Can't wait to have you back on your feet. You're gonna have a two weeks holiday in the Caribbean, all expenses paid, and some cash rewards, which we shall talk about later. Thank you, sir. Daddy, can I go with him to the Caribbean since his job is to look after me? That won't be necessary. You're going off to the United States for one year to keep your mother company. Tony, the governor sends his regards. I appreciate it, sir. Well, I'm taking my leave. I have a meeting at Beckman House. Daddy, can I please stay with him for a while? Please. Okay. How is my guardian angel doing today? I'm fine. I can't thank you enough. I should be the one thanking you. OK. 
kiss me. The closer I get to you, the more you make me see how much I need you in my life. You are my body, God, but I want you to be in my heart for the rest of my life. Watched you closely as you recover after the incident, and I've been wondering if you are fit enough to resume duty. I'm fit enough, sir. Well then, I've instructed the accountant to pay in one million naira into your account. I hope it heals the wound, and enough to say thank you for saving my daughter's life. I'm always at your service, sir. Remember, Bianca is still under your care. I assure you she's safe, sir. Good. I wish to be left alone. It's been a terrible experience. I never knew you would make it. Oh, come on. Uh, well, my baby is as hard as steel. So, who then is soft? Lizzie, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you give me one minute? You guys can take ten minutes. <laughs> you girls need to dust it too, you know? Right. I'll be right back. What? Yeah, he's there. I just want him to know what he has and to know if he can keep it. But Tony says he's a good guy. Yeah, he's nice. But he's nice to Tony doesn't mean he's a good guy. He's nice to Tony because he's his friend. 
That doesn't mean he's good to others. You know what I mean? Hmm. Do you like him? Like? I'm falling, girl. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> so, just make it easy for him. Easy care. Do you want him to get it on a platter of wood? Dave, not know. I doubt it, man. I doubt it. But my main man in the house knows. I understand that her father is so busy. But what about her mother? Uh, she spends most of her time in America. You know? And then because of the elections, she didn't come home at all this period. Hmm. Are you sure she's not being hooked by one of these American guys? You know all these society ladies. Hey, come on, she's not like that, man. She's a born again Christian. Mm. And she actually runs a church in America. Really? Yeah. You know? If you say so, then. What? More go, you know, sir. I'm still a bodyguard. Oh, I understand. It's going to be G. Yeah, ladies. I hope we didn't. Explain this to me or not? Explain what? I don't understand. How the picture of you and your bodyguard got to the newspapers? Kissing and fumbling like pigeons. Now, where is he? I said, where is he? Where is he? He just drove out right now. Look at the gate, it's even open right Damn it. Be sorry for yourself. If not for your life, he saved you would have been a dead man. For that, I'll let him leave, but never to come back here. That it was all my fault. So you were the one who led him to it. I trusted him. Started seeing him like a son. But like the dog he is, he ate the bone he was asked to keep. Daddy, please forgive him. He has been forgiven, but he cannot come back here. Remember, he saved my life. Do you have to give him your life for that? Daddy, I'm sorry. Now go back to your room. 
Don't you make me lose my temper. to help me. I want to see Tony. That one is difficult though. I cannot risk it. You see that gate? There's no way I can smuggle you out of that gate without anybody seeing you. I mean, try to understand. Please help me. You can do it if you want to. You know this house in and out. Bianca, that gate. This fence. It's your dad. Everywhere is wired up. You only get yourself killed. I am not afraid of death. If it means dying for him. He almost gave his life for me. Bianca. You know I'm in support of this affair. But as it is, my hands are very, very tight. I cannot help it. I can't help it. I'm sorry. that you know it takes a lot of planning I think we should just try and convince your father you know he won't agree and you know how long I've been locked up in that house I don't like that kind of life I know I just think we should do things you know in a diplomatic way if it's money I have Twelve thousand dollars I took from the house. And I have my checkbook. If you want, you can go to the bank and withdraw the money. Okay, baby. This is not about money. 
Your father has been good to me. So, what do you suggest? I suggest you take things one step at a time. Start with you going home. No. Tony, I want to stay with you. That house is like an elevated prison yard. Yeah, I went to see Tony. Sweat. Give. Okay. Give her the voice now. Are we up? Let's keep up. left an instruction and you flouted it. You let her out, not even with an escort. Why am I paying you? Why am I paying you? Tell me. That means I'm not safe here. I'm finished. You buffoons. What am I paying you for? Maybe she went to see. Maybe she went to see Tony. I see. All of you. All of you are behind this. tonight. He's a traitor. After all I have done for him, he hurt my feelings. Sweat? Chief. Take two boys with you. You must track him down. I want to see his name in the obituary column of the Daily Times or the Sun. And that is a simple order. Chief, I'm sorry. 
That is not a simple letdown. Are you questioning my orders? No, Chief. Is that that we cannot do it, Chief? Did I hear you say you cannot do it? about it. Besides, remember we are all on that oath to protect each other, including you, Chief. We cannot harm anybody under this umbrella. We will fight and protect you with our last blood. so much to me and I'll do everything and anything that I can to protect it. I love you too. You're all that I have and everything that I live for. Knowing that you're there for me gives me the strength to fight on. I'm always here for you and I'll be here for you till the day that I die. Okay? Every day I pray to God to save you for me. to do. But I must surely find myself out of this place. And if I do, I don't think I'll ever come back to this house again. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay? Just remember that I love you. That's very important. How are my boys doing? Sweat, Steve, Ali, and the rest of the boys. They are supportive, but you know there is nothing they can do. They are under authority. It's okay. Baby girl, what is it by your time? Let me check. It's past midnight. That's pretty late, you know. I wish I didn't have to leave you now, but you have to go to bed. And I just say that I love you so much. I love you too, honey. <laughs> Come on. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. All right. Good night. None of us, none of us should forget our self-righteous code. Be your brother's keeper. Remember that anybody could be in a situation. And this has to do with love. There is nothing, there is nothing anybody can do or say that Mr. T or Bianca will see because they are blind. Therefore, we will lead them like blind people. Yes. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. yes. Chief can go out of his way to kill him. I know he might decide to pick hands from somewhere. But Mr. T, we have spilled the same blood with him on the same ground. Yes. So if anything goes wrong, we will have to be on his side. Am I communicating? Yes. yes. Um, brothers, and that means that um, we have to be careful with Bianca. She gets stubborn sometimes. 
Don't worry, I will talk to her. Now everybody go back to your post. And what business of yours is that? You know you're not allowed to go out on your own. So? Please, I don't intend to hurt you, but try and see sweats. Has a message for you. Okay? You're telling me it's true. What are you talking about? Who are these boys? What are they doing with guns? Vincent, are you trying to start another Biafran war or trying to start a coup or something? What's really happening? I, I, who the hell are you? I said, get out! Be asking your husband. Hey, stop, 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 stop this nonsense. Really? I think you need a shower and some sleep. Then when you wake up, we can talk. You said you don't want this cold water on your head, not me. Okay? I mean, when did you become a mafia? This is not what you told me about politics. Oh, I see. No wonder I've been postponing my trip all this while. Victoria, go upstairs. This said I will go upstairs, all right? The one I come down, I see just you and you alone in this house. Look, Vicky. I didn't plan it this way. The elections became rough and I had to protect this family. With all those guns? Vincent, do you ever think of life after death? What happened to those good 
Christian life used to practice. At least I remember you used to tell me no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Yes, but I didn't say guns and bullets. Oh, darling. When did you become the devil's workshop? When? I think you should be more interested in talking about what your daughter has been doing lately than sit here and talk about devil's workshop. You are the architect of what she has been doing lately, Vincent. You orchestrated it. You propelled that was the wrong direction, Vincent. That girl has been complaining of being, of being locked up for eight months. I never believed her because I thought she was lying. I still suggest you talk to your daughter who has been sleeping with one of those dirty boys. Vincent, what did you just say? Talk to your daughter. Vicky. Thank you. 